Are we on the air? Yes, you are. You are. Um, was there a moment for you, tribe doing the thing, you having an idea of how you felt hip hop should be going in the future, where you felt like, on the whole, hip hop was going in a direction that you were like, okay, what's going on here? Was there ever a moment for you where you were like, something doesn't seem right? Yeah, definitely. I felt like, you know, after when Pac died, and I knew both Pac and Big. Mm-hmm. So when, when Pac died, it was like, whoa. And then when Big died, I was like, and then like a year after that, it was just like gluttonous. Everybody trying to get his spot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it was just like from Jay and all that stuff. Like, I, you know, and Jay is an ill MC. I'm not discrediting Jay at all. But, you know, just when I saw that whole aesthetic of playerism and all that stuff still kind of going and growing and stuff like that, it was just like, man, let's, let's, like, what, what, what are we, what are we taking from this? You know what I'm saying? This brother, Big, kind of was speaking those things. And kind of like unfortunately fell prey to his words like the power of the word is is it can manifest itself you know what i'm saying yeah so after that when that whole thing was going out kind of was like hmm where, where we heading you know what i mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's crazy man ocha talk we hanging out res tie q-tip man this is like i said man this is big i'm gonna try to just you know lighten things up a little bit because we mm-hmm. want some serious hip-hop mm-hmm. discussion um i'm gonna call some names mm-hmm. Some songs. Mm. Now, hopefully, I can get you to say which one you like better. <laughs> no, oh no pressure, no pressure. Q-tip. All right. Uh, um, buddy. Scenario. <laughs> Favorites at this moment. It could change. Buddy. Okay. Why? Because it was just fun when we did that. <laughs> I remember the remix and the feeling of doing it. Okay. It scenario or scenario remix. Scenario remix. Why? Because of Hood, my man Hood. Uh huh. You know. Talk about and him I, for, for for those that don't know. Yeah, Hood sets off the scenario remix, and um, he was homeless. And he was from my neighborhood, and his rhymes was crazy. And I thought he would have been, he would have been for real. Like right now, he would still, he would still be proud. Yeah. Like of course, he, he passed a big away. Deal. Yeah, he didn't get to see that. Yeah, that happened. So, Mob Deep temperatures rising. Mob Deep drink away the pain. Uh, I like, and I'm not just saying it because I'm on it, but I like Drink Away the Pain. Because <laughs> uh-huh. I like the, 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 the signature, the music signature, yeah. and I like the fact that it felt different for them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was trying to get them to like still be hard, but rhyme, but rhyme over that type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I like that. Um, okay. Then we go from Drink Away the Pain to Nas, One Love, between those two. Oh, One Love. Okay. Did you know when you were making One Love? Yes. Nas. That that was crazy? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we were supposed to do a couple more things too on the album, actually, you know what I'm saying? And, um, but they, it worked out like that album. Man. Was the aura around Nas really? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was everything you guys knew. That, it was everything that you heard it was. It was. Yeah. He was the, the chosen one. Mm hmm. He was the golden child. How do you feel he's done since then? Um, amazing. Mm-hmm. I think he's really made a great career for himself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's really done it. Mm-hmm. I've always been, and I talked to Premier about that. I mean, as the 90s hip hop b boy dude, like when I heard it was written compared to Illmatic, I've, it's always been that thing. I still love it was written, but I just, in terms of I the mean, direction. You know, Illmatic was something. Else. Oh man, oh man. But let's keep it moving and talk more about hip hop itself. Um and I ask all hip hop pioneers this question. Um, how do you feel hip hop's current generation is doing in terms of carrying the torch that you and the others have passed on to them? Um It's okay. A little self involved. A little, a little, a lot of, a lot of, a uh, whole lot of ego, and a lot of excusing the ego, and 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 get taking carte blanche because they say it's hip hop. You know what I mean? Which 
which is something that I don't, you know. Yeah, you, in the course of rhyming, if you're Kumo D or you Melly Mel or you LL Cool J or you Slick Rick, of course you're gonna be like, my rhyme's the best, I'm the freshest of the fresh or whatever. You know, when the mic's off and the camera's off, whatever. You may still have a little bit of ego, but there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a tact and there's a way that you, you go about it and there's a mystique that you hold and there's an aura that you give off. And I feel like a lot of the younger cats are so hungry and so extra that they really say things and do things that are just, they come off kind of like just too arrogant and just people calling themselves genius. And people saying that their shit is classic and all that stuff is just kind of like sacrilege to me. <laughs> but I mean, I like the fact that they, they 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 believe in themselves. You know what I mean? But some of it is just a little too extra. Yeah. Okay. But it's all good. In closing, uh, and I asked every single person we've interviewed this question. I think I kind of stumped Ali for a sec. Uh, is this the mixtape? <laughs> yeah. O- only there's only been one person to actually answer this question. And that was Hank Shockley. Okay. I, I kind of changed it Hank around to make man. it a little easier because I really nah, want to answer. Give it. Give no, it. I'm, I'm, I'm this way. If God asked you to make him a mixtape that symbolized um, Tribe's contribution to hip hop, what would you start it with? What would you end it with? <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's tough. I guess I'd start it with something like, uh, I guess, check the rhyme, maybe. And I guess I'd end it with, I don't know, what was. God lives through. Okay. There you go. There you go, man. God lives through. There you go, man. We ended off with a thank you, man. Honestly, it is such a pleasure to have you here. You've inspired an entire generation. Thank you. And, uh, man, like, it's just beautiful to have you here, man. Can I leave? Can I say one last thing? Yeah. I hope that everybody knows that um, I do, I do dig a lot of the stuff that's going on. I'm a DJ as well, so I get a lot of the records. And I spin it and I do dig a lot of things. But I think a lot of us within the community that do this, you know, whether we're DJs or we're radio personalities and that we are in the functioning hip hop community, you know, we all have these little conversations and these sidebars about the state of the music and where it's going. And over the last few years, the the term hater has come up or player hater or whatever. And what I think that is, is when somebody is just like jealous or they exude some sort of like, you know, animosity without real regard and it's stemming from just out of an envious place. But I think that um, we need to like kind of examine where we're at. And it's not, you're not a player hater if you if you offer criticism. And because you offer criticism, you know, you, you usually, a lot of us who are in this community, I include you guys as well, is because we really care about this music. It raised us, it was a part of birthing us. It was how we found our identities and our sensibilities. So as we move on and we look at it and we examine it and we critique it, it's not necessarily from hate. And we, myself included, I could learn a lot from you guys and everybody can learn stuff from me and it could be a great exchange that we have here because this music is powerful. It's, probably the most one of the most powerful music forms in the 20th century in the last century since jazz you know what i mean like it's it's probably even more prevalent and dare i say just as if not more important you know just in so many ways you know what i mean it was definitely on the same level as jazz so we have something that's very very powerful so at this point it's, it's healthy for us to discuss it and see where we're at and not take feelings into play and just you know count our blessings and that's all i want to say well said thank you thank you so much thanks man yeah